Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a favorites video. I'm really, really, really excited because I haven't done one of these in a long time. So, um, if you see a dog right here, her name is Lacey. It's my roommate's dog and she's adorable. She's just really tired right now. Um, but anyways, I have a lot of products I want to talk about. So without further ado, I just thought I would get right into it. The first thing that has been my favorite since December, January, is this pull-up bar. This is an at-home pull-up bar. I used to be really skeptical about these. Um, anyways, I got this last year for Christmas, and I just never set it up because I didn't have my own place. And um, yeah, so I finally set it up, and it's really, really, really been helping me with my pull-up strength. Um, I work out on it every other day. Um, for example, today I'm doing a back workout, so I probably will not use this. The days where I'm working out my legs or my glutes, I will still use this because that's a goal of mine is to be able to do pull-ups. And it's super exciting to have this in my room and I can use this whenever I want. And it's definitely been a favorite. I've definitely been utilizing this. So if that's something you guys are wanting to work on, I would definitely recommend picking up a pull-up bar. I'm going to set this down now because it's super big. But yeah, it's one of my favorites. Um, like I said, if that's something you guys are working on, I would definitely recommend picking that up. I just want to pick up a couple extra resistance bands. It comes with one already in the box, but I think I need a little heavier one because I'm not that strong. I'm really good with my chin-ups, but my actual pull-ups, mm, not good at all. <laughs> All right, so you guys know I love, love, love my Unico products, um, one of my favorites, but I wanted to just try something new again. I like switching things up. I'm just that type of person when it comes to um, supplements because I get bored really easily. Not that I don't like the products, I just get bored really easily. So I went back to try the Extend BCAAs, and this is in the blue raspberry flavor. It is so good. I recently just purchased this, but I wanted to mention it because it's such a good blue raspberry flavor. It's not as sour as I would like, but it's still really good. And I just love the Extend BCAAs because it blends into the water so nicely. <laughs> the Unico one is super good. I love the blackberry lemonade flavor, but this is like 10 times more flavorful and it's just a lot smoother in the water. I don't know how to explain it. It just dissolves a lot nicer, but um, still love all my Unico products. I just thought I'd mention that because I'm always um, promoting it, but um, yeah, I do love, love, love Extend BCAs, and I would highly recommend it. The strawberry kiwi one is really good as well, um, but I used all that up so I can't can use it. All right, still on the supplement train, my next favorite is this right here. And I am so happy to be talking about this because I've wanted to pick this up for so long. Once again, I recently just picked this up, but it is absolutely delicious and I had to mention it. It is the Ghost, I think it's just Ghost, not Ghost Lifestyle, but Ghost Nutrition, Ghost Supplements, Ghost Lifestyle. It is the Ghost Whey Protein in the flavor cereal milk and it is so good so i was really skeptical about this at first because i'm like someone could easily fuck this up but i think it is really delicious it doesn't upset my stomach it's 100 percent whey protein um like i said it's the flavor cereal milk and i would have to say it tastes like vanilla protein with a little bit of fruit which sounds gross when i say that out loud but um it just it's just delicious. It literally tastes like you just got done eating like a small bowl of fruity pebbles and you drank the milk afterwards. Not like a not like a strong fruity flavor, but definitely has that flavor in there. And today I just had this protein shake with a scoop of peanut butter. And it was absolutely delicious. It tasted like a peanut butter um, milkshake or a peanut butter pie that's what it tastes peanut butter pie that's what it tasted like and it was delicious so i've been having one of these every day and i go in and out with my protein shakes sometimes i will just get super bored and sick of it but recently i've been loving it and this protein is just amazing all right so next favorite is this foam roller so i was never ever ever someone who used to foam roll and i went to tj maxx and found one for like 12 dollars. super nice and it's one with the ridges which i like it just gives like a deeper massage in your muscles so um really have been using this a lot this month and it's really been helping especially with leg day i don't know necessarily i don't really use this for my upper body as much um, i definitely want to get into that though um especially working out my back a lot i've been working on my back so much um but definitely for my legs for my quads and my hamstrings and my glutes oh my god it hurts so fucking bad but it feels so good at the same time so if you don't have a foam roller i would highly recommend it it's really really nice for um recovery 
right, moving right along, my next favorite are these shoes right here. So I'm someone who's not a big shoe person. I love having nice, cute shoes, but I'm not someone who's like obsessed with them. Um, I really, really, really like these. My boyfriend got them for me for Christmas. As you can tell, they're a little dirty. I'm not the best when it comes to taking care of my shoes. I normally just take like a Clorox wipe and wipe them off, but these are the Adidas Bounce. Edge Lux Bounce. I don't know what they're called. I should probably look that up. I believe they're called Bounce. They say Bounce right there. But these are super, super cute. The I love the front of the shoe. And they're not super padded, which I like because I can use them for leg day. Like if I forget my Converse, it's not the end of the world because these are very flat. Not super flat, but they are pretty flat. So I can I feel comfortable squatting in them. And they're just a great shoe to work out in. I definitely would not recommend running in these. Definitely get a running shoe if you're running. But for working out, these are really cute and comfortable. And I just really like them. I thought I would mention them in my favorites. And... Yeah, and I love the color as well. All right, so my camera's overheating, but I'm gonna blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna go make some coffee, and I'll be right back. I'm back. Grab some coffee. I've been obsessed with Trader Joe's coffee recently. I'm out of breath. Does anyone get out of breath running up the stairs? Because when I, I just don't understand. Because. I would say I'm a pretty healthy person, obviously. Not obviously. I would say I'm pretty healthy, I eat pretty healthy, but going up the stairs, I don't know if it's just because like I'm exerting a lot of energy and like skipping steps. And now I'm talking, but like that's ridiculous. Alright, so moving on to my skincare slash beauty. Is that the same thing? My beauty favorites, I should say. Um, so the first um so I hate myself. <laughs> So the first one is this Garnier Skin Active Face Wash. I have the lotion, the, uh, the Moisture Bomb lotion I talked about way back when, like in my summer videos. Um, so this is the Garnier Skin Active Refreshing C Cream... Garnier Skin Active Refre Refreshing S Cream Cleanser. What the fuck? Wait. Garnier Skin Active Refreshing Clean... <laughs> what? Garnier Skin Active Refreshing Cream Cleanser. Right here, guys. I did it. I said it. Whoa. I, I deserve a gold star. Um, so this is <laughs> the, the face wash. Um, the only downside is that it doesn't foam up. So I recently had my Mario Badescu, like, um, enzyme cleansing gel. And it, the only thing I didn't like about it is that it didn't foam up. And so I got a new one. And this doesn't foam up either, so... Go me. I'm just amazing. I don't know what it is, but like face washes that don't foam up, I feel like it's not working. But I've come to love this face wash. It's very, very, very calming. This one I use morning and night, and it normally I don't do that because my skin breaks out and I just wash my face once a day. But I use this two times a day, and it's amazing. I love it. Very calming. It just feels clean when I'm done using it, and it doesn't feel like my skin's irritated. Um... And I love the whole skin active line. It really has done really good things to my skin and it's drugstore But that being said it's drugstore, but it's like 15 20 dollars, which is not very good. I got this face Why can't I talk today? I meant to say facial, but then I said face Anyways I got this facial spray. It is made with lavender and chamomile. And I'm not kidding. This is my favorite thing ever. Um, like you guys probably know, probably don't know if you guys are watching my videos. Um, I had the rose water one and I had the aloe and cucumber one. And now I have this one. And it's my new favorite because I used to hate the smell of lavender. I don't know why. But I am obsessed with lavender now. And this just is the best thing to my skin. I'm gonna use it right now because I love it that much. It's just so calming when I put it on my skin and it feels refreshing and I don't know if it's just me but I feel like it's toned down the redness in my face because um, I don't know why. I don't know if it's like hormones or anything but like right here I get a lot of redness. I don't know why. It's like not on my cheeks. It's right here. Don't know why. Um, but I feel like this has actually toned it down quite a bit, and yeah, I love this stuff so, 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 so much, and I highly recommend it to every, anyone, anyone ever. Anyways, this stuff is so good. The color is also really pretty. It's like this 
neon purple. It's amazing. So I highly recommend it um, for anyone who's looking for a good face spray. Last of the skincare, I'm sorry, I just love skincare stuff so much. I got this face serum at Marshall's. It was $5.99, so cute. And you get a shit ton. Like, I've had this for a long time and I haven't even dented it. <laughs> Which is good, but like, I feel like this shit expires, but... Anyway, so this is a Skin Science Hydrating Face Serum. It is, um, it's with collagen and vitamin C. So I put this on my skin every single night, uh, right after I wash, wash my face. Sometimes I'll apply a toner before. Sometimes I won't. I don't know. Um, but yeah, normally I do this right after I wash my face. I'm just gonna say, I haven't, I didn't really see a difference, like, the first month I started using it. But now, I just feel like my skin looks the best it's ever looked and that's crazy to say and i just feel like my makeup application is a lot nicer when i decide to wear makeup for the day i just love that skin serum so much and i know that collagen and vitamin c is so good for your skin so i have two more favorites left my camera kept overheating and it's about to die so i'm just gonna go really quickly um i'm actually gonna put these two together so my last favorite is the covergirl healthy elixir vitalist healthy line the vitalist healthy line so I talked about this in like my first favorites video i love this foundation more than life itself it's so natural looking it's so pretty these two together oh my god i am not someone who really loves a matte finish just because it really makes me look disgusting um i'm someone who loves a natural <laughs> hopefully it didn't break it probably didn't break i'm someone who, i'm someone who loves like a natural look to their foundation and these two together let me tell you it's amazing my skin's not too oily it's not too dry it's just right in the middle so i love this so much mm. it just looks like your skin but better and i'm not kidding this is my favorite foundation of life itself <laughs> and i just like re re fallen in love with it so then i have this powder and this powder i've been looking for a nice everyday powder that i can just slap on my face it doesn't look cakey doesn't look dry doesn't look oily and this is it. This is the powder. And um, I swatch it on my skin and you can't even tell because it just blends in so nicely. All I want is something to set my powder. I don't want it to look oily. I don't want it to look matte. I just want it to be on my face and do its job. And I love this. And it's a powder foundation as well. So you can use it on its own. It does give like a little bit of coverage. I'm wearing it today on top of my BB cream. So yeah, really, really, really would recommend. This is in the color Ivory and... It's a little dark, but when you put it on your skin, it's not that dark. I don't know. It's weird. Hey guys, so my camera died and I can't be bothered to charge it for half an hour just to say goodbye. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any favorites of your own, please leave them down. Have I had this fuzz in my hair for that long? <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. Uh, if you have any video recommendations, I know that I say this in every video, but if you have video recommendations, leave them down below. I would love to do them for you guys. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.